All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the finite state machine and how you can use polymorphism in C++ to implement a finite state machine. And before I get started, I'm just gonna briefly go over what a state machine is. One example is the calculator program. The calculator program has a scientific state. I can open this menu over here. I can change to a standard state. It's the same program, but it operates in different states. And so you can, you can implement this functionality using a finite state machine. Uh, another example is video games. A lot of video games have different states that they operate out of. So I've got um, a main menu state right here. I can go into uh, a loading state. I can go to my options. I can go back to the main menu. These are all different states of the same program. There are several other applications for a state machine. Artificial intelligence can be implemented using a state machine. Think of like your Pac-Man ghost. The Pac-Man ghost is either chasing or he's fleeing or he's dying or respawning. All different states of the same ghost. And so there are numerous applications for implementing the finite state machine. So now I'm gonna show you how you can set up your basic state machine. And for this state machine, we're going to look at how we can set up a main menu and then go to our options state and then go back to the main menu. So to get started, we're not going to do a whole lot here in main. I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call that state. Now stepping over to our header file. I'm going to delete the copy constructor. This is going to be an abstract class. And when you have a state machine, you basically have three different functions in each state. When we enter a state, we're going to call the inner function. And while you are operating in a state, we're running an update function. And then when we leave a state, we can call an exit function or because exit is used for other things, I'll use the word leave. And each one of these functions will be called when we enter, while we are hanging out in, and when we leave a state. Your inner function is for initializing any variables that need to be set up for that state. So we may cue the music. If this were a state for a certain AI, for a game agent, we may want to set the hit points to maximum. We may want to initialize their location. Uh, that sort of thing is what you would do in the enter function. Your update function is where you hang out. This is where most of your code goes. And whatever's happening in that state, all that code will be written in the update function. The update function also has to include a way of changing states. So if we are at the main menu, we're going to need some code that allows us to move to options or to credits or something like that. We'll just take keyboard input in this example, and later we'll look at implementing a graphics user interface like we looked at in the Darksiders game. The leave function is normally used to free up memory if we're not gonna be in this state anymore. We may want to free up some memory for the state that we're going to. Uh, you can also use this to stop the music or cancel sound effects and things of that nature. Now, as I said, this is an abstract class, so we can set all of these guys equal to zero. And that will enforce the abstract property. So any state that is derived from this class will have to implement some form of these functions. Even if they're empty, they still have to be there. The next thing we need are a few static pointers to implement the polymorphism. So I'm going to create a static state pointer. And the first one is going to be called current. And this pointer will be used to point to the current state. So whatever state we're in, this pointer is going to point to that state. And we will use that to control which state we're in. The next thing we need is a state pointer to every state that we want to have in this state machine. So I said we we're going to have a main menu and we also need a 
options state. If we were doing credits, uh, load game, things like that, those would all be pointers that you would list out right here. These are static pointers, so it's going to be important to initialize these in global space in our source file. But for now, we're going to work on building these states. Each state will get its own class. So I will create a new class. And this class will be called main menu. And over here, I will implement my inheritance. The main menu is derived from state. Before I can do that, I need to include state up here at the top. I'm going to delete the copy constructor. I shouldn't, shouldn't ever need that for this program. Because state is abstract, we have to implement all three of those functions. So we'll go ahead and write those now. Enter, update, and leave. Now I did forget to do something. So we're going to step back over to state.h. These all need to be virtual. Otherwise, our polymorphism will not work. So in main menu dot cpp void main menu enter update and leave. Now, what you put in the body of each of these functions is up to you. Um, so to keep it simple, we said we initialize things in the enter function. I'm just going to print a cout statement that lets me know I'm in the main menu state. Before I can use cout, I will need to include iostream and namespace std. So I will do that over in state.h. And now we should be good here. The next thing we're going to do is update. Your update function normally runs in a loop because this is where your program will hang out while it is in this state. And while the loop isn't going to be overly important for this example, we'll go ahead and put one there anyways. We'll just let this run on an infinite loop. And we'll provide a way out inside. And what I'm going to print here are the transitions available from main menu. You cannot necessarily go from any state to any state, but from main menu, we can go to options and we can exit. So those are the options I'm going to print out here. One for options. And two for exit. And after I print those out, I can take in some user input. I'll just use an integer here and we can follow that up with a switch statement. For our first case, we want to change from our current state to the option state. So we will simply write that right here. These are our static pointers from the base class. And then we can leave by using a return statement. For our second case, we're just going to exit the program. So you can simply call exit. And this will run in a loop until the user types in one or two. For the leave function, you can just print out a leaving message if you want to. This is not overly important for this small demo, um, but just to show what it's used for, we can put a message here like leaving main menu. And that takes care of our main menu state. Next, we need to set up an option state and it will be very similar to this one. So create a new class called options.
In the header file, we will include state, delete the copy constructor, and we'll declare our three functions here. And then we'll head over to our source file and define each of those functions. And this will be very similar to the main menu. With the state machine, you're going to find you have a lot of redundant code, uh, but that's okay. That's just the nature of the beast. The positive side of using a state machine is it's very organized. It's uh, very high performance and it's loosely coupled. If I need to make any changes to any one of my states, I can go in and make those changes and I don't have to worry about breaking other parts of the program that are in different states. So for our inner function here, we're going to write a similar C out statement. Just letting the user know we have entered the option state. In our update function, we can actually just copy the update from main menu. We'll just copy this whole while loop and then we'll modify it a little bit for the option state. So I'll paste that here uh, from options. If we still want to leave in the, uh, the ability to exit the program, we could, we could leave that there. We could also take it out if we wanted to. And our current in case one, we're not changing two options because we're already in options. We're going to go back to main menu. So our first option is to return to the main menu. And then in case one, we will set current equal to main menu. I've done something wrong because it's angry. What did I forget? I forgot my inheritance. So over here, we need to make this public state. And now with that inheritance in place, we should be good over here. Now we need to initialize our current, our main menu and our options pointers. So we could do that in main, uh, in global space right here. The first thing we need to do is include our header files. So main menu dot H and options dot H. And now we can initialize our static pointers. So we have a state pointer using the scope resolution operator, main menu and we can create our main menu object and then state pointer options equals new options. And then last of all, we need to set our current pointer equal to main menu or whatever state you want to start in. And now that we're all initialized, our program will run in main in an infinite loop. And inside this loop, we're going to use our current pointer. And this is where our polymorphism comes in. First, we are going to enter. And then we are going to update. Because our transition takes place in update, if you want to call leave, you need to do that in update. So in main menu here, uh, before we transition from current to options, you could just call leave right there if you wanted to. And then we would see our leaving main menu message. It would make the transition and then we return. Now I notice I do have one error where I call exit, we need to put a zero right there, both in the main menu state and in the options state. Uh, 
and now we should be good to go. So go ahead and run a clean build and make sure there are no errors. And then we can run the program. Should see now in main menu and we can transition to options. We see our leaving message. We see we are now in the option state. We can go back to main menu and you should be able to do that as many times as you want. And then when you're done, pressing two will exit. And that is a basic finite state machine implemented using polymorphism.